Greetings all. With all the rain, I've pretty much been forced out of the garden. <laughs> I'm not out there. So all projects that I've been involved in lately have been mushroom farming. <laughs> so we've been planting all sorts of mushrooms around here. Um, and so today I'd like to show you some of the work I was doing with shiitake mushroom. Uh, as the bumper sticker says, shiitake happens. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so we did some serious spawning the other day. I'll show you what the work looks like. All right here, I've got myself a little pile of logs. Um, it's debatable on this island just exactly what kind of wood the shiitake mushroom would grow on. Um, a lot of the locals are actually using koa. Well, koa is pretty valuable wood, and I have a hard time imagining that I want to grow mushrooms on it. So, I talked to the guys uh, in Wisconsin where I got the spawn from, and of course they have no idea about tropical hardwoods at all. So I have to experiment. And I figured, well, since koa is a legume tree, I have plenty of ice cream bean here, which is also a legume. And so in front of me, I have two different species of ice cream bean, or inga. Um, there is a coffee log, and in the very front here, we have a guava tree. Now, I don't know whether or not the shiitake will run in these logs. All I can do is find out. Not a lot of information when it comes to this. In the mainland, they like to use oak, although there are other trees that will work. So, it's experimentation is about all I can do here. So the usual way this is done is we would take logs of an appropriate tree species that are uh, between 3 and 8 inches in diameter, ideally somewhere between 3 and 4 feet long. Then we use a drill. <laughs> and we drill 5 16 inch holes, uh, 1 inch deep, into the wood. We use a grid pattern on the logs, and so you will drill the holes six inches apart down the length of the log, and then the next line of holes will be two inches offset, triangulated, and then drilled again six inches apart. Just keep rotating the log, going around like it's a cob of corn, drilling holes in it so that the lines are two inches apart and the holes are six inches apart in each line. Pretty simple. After we get that far, then the mycelium for this mushroom is impregnated in wood dolls, just like a carpenter would use when making furniture. In the furniture, you put Elmer's glue on them, you drive them in, and then stick everything together. In this case, we just take the doll with the active live spawn, and we hammer it <laughs> into the log, and then the top of it is sealed with wax. Um, I imagine it keeps it clean, keeps other things from getting in there, and probably holds moisture in for it and whatnot. Um, anyway, cover everything with wax, and so that's what was on the logs over there. I only have eight dolls left from the spawning. I started with 250, and so the eight dolls aren't going to spawn a log. I have this cute little idea where I would like to make sort of a tabletop mushroom farm. Here I have a, a, a coffee crotch. This came off one of my coffee trees while pruning. Uh, I'm hoping that coffee wood will work. It's nice and dense, hard like oak, it might. So I'm going to use this here to be able to make my little mushroom farm. Right here I have a drill. I have it set with duct tape at one inch so that I will go down to the tape so I'm one inch inside the log. This is a 5 16 inch diameter drill bit. That's going to fit the dolls perfectly. Right here, I have a bag that contains the last of the dolls. The dolls look like this. They're just a plain old carpenter's doll, but they've been impregnated with the uh, mycelium for this mushroom. The shiitake in Latin is lenticula idodes. So we're speaking the proper languages here. This is a strain WR46. Uh, to, to get them inside the log, we must use 
a regular old carpenter's hammer. So, I have eight of them, and so all I can do is get eight holes in here, and so I believe I'm just going to go around this thing. One. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay. I have eight holes drilled in my log. I have one here, one there, another one here. I drilled a couple of them in the top right there. I'll start out right in the top here. Take my dowel, put it down on my log, take a hammer, drive that peg in just like a nail. So now that we have our dowels driven in, right here, I have myself a candle, and I'm going to seal them with some melted candle wax. All right, here we go. They're all sealed in with wax. Now I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put it out in the shade in the rain here. Now if you're living somewhere where it's really dry, you're going to want to irrigate this thing. I mean, you could even probably set it in the dish with a little moisture or something in the bottom. But you do want to keep the log so that it's got moisture in it. So shading it, putting it in a place where you can irrigate uh, is going to be a real good idea. Now this is not necessarily according to the instructions, but I have seen little shiitake logs for sale before in catalogs, so I thought I'd try to make my own. Now this is probably going to work, provided that shiitake likes coffee, and I don't know whether that's true or not. It's totally an experiment on my part. But no matter what wood you're working with, basically this is what you have to do. You drill yourself a hole, you drive the right dowel in there, you hammer the dowel in, then you seal it with wax. The wood should be somewhere between about three and eight weeks cut. You don't want to use dead trees. They would have infections in them. Um, so you want to make sure that you have live, good wood that you're working with. Uh, and then the wood would be cut and the wood would be allowed to start to die for a period of time otherwise the tree would offer resistance towards the spread of the fungi in here and, here. and so th this wood has been cut for about two months and so it's definitely dead but if you notice signs that other fungi are beginning to grow on your wood don't use it okay you want wood that hasn't been you know, infected with some other form of fungus oh. Aloha, with all the rain around here, we're growing mushrooms out of the sides of my hat, so y'all have a good time.